Ten year old me on Nike ID, customizing shoes I was never going to buy. <laughs> hey, what's up, cuties? My name is Fainted, and welcome to How Is Twitter Free. If you're new here, please subscribe. We're trying to get one mil subs, bruh. Okay, no one cares. Let's get into the video. Subscribe to Fainted. History students in 2040 highlighting the important stuff in the chapter about 2020. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry guys, just gotta highlight the entire book because 2020 was that wild. My kid had a sleepover, and in the morning I offered to make waffles, but the friends said that they couldn't eat gluten or sugar, or dairy, so I offered scrambled eggs, and this kid goes, Do you have duck eggs? Um, I'm sorry child, this is not Scotland 1745, it's my house. Dumbledore, the first rule is that first years can't have brooms. Harry, I want one though. Dumbledore. Lamal, okay, fair. The second rule is that no rules apply to Harry. <laughs> Tell me a story about yourself that sounds like a lie, but is absolutely true. I handed a CV into Domino's when I was 16, and as I was walking out, I got ran over by a car. I never an inside saw. <laughs> oh, that's painful. My mum has put an onion in the corner of every room in the house because WhatsApp advised her to. This is the peak of the WhatsApp mother's cult. I am unable to can. <laughs> wow, that house is gonna be smelling pretty interesting. My son got the Spider-Man costume he's been wanting forever today. I held him up in various positions and then photoshopped myself out. Turned out pretty good. I'm a forensic image analysis, and I have been studying this image for 20 minutes and have concluded there is no manipulation here. Your son is Spider-Man. And then Sony of all people reply with like the little, ooh, eyes emoji, like, mm, what's up, yo, ooh, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Writes up copyright lawsuit. <laughs> I've ordered the same Subway sandwich since 2006. Bruh, say I ain't loyal. Nope, you're right. You loyal. Thanks, G. See you soon. <laughs> I don't think there's any other social media app where you can have these kind of conversations with like huge companies <laughs> just so casually. I love it. I think I won this trade. Okay, so this guy has these sneakers for sale at $300. And this guy Gustavo messages him saying, Hi, is this still available? Yes. Will you trade for a full breed German Shepherd female? Seriously, man, who would trade such a cute dog for a shoe? <laughs> Why, bro? Why? <laughs> yep, this guy definitely did win the trade by a long shot, bro. I, I mean, unless this dog has some kind of underlying condition where it has like a pooping problem, maybe something that this guy's not telling him about. This dude's taking the dub. It's like rocking up to Pokemon Club back in school with a shiny Charizard <laughs> and then walking away with a Pidgey. Imagine when the dog finds out that he was traded for a shoe. And how has this guy even agreed to do this like little flex pick at the end to be like, yo, check out the trade. <laughs> Bro, you just got finessed. You finessed yourself. These aren't even epic Yeezys, bro. Why would you want to capture that moment, bro? <laughs> what are you going to do? Send a flex pick to like your girlfriend or your mum or something and be like, hey, look, I just traded my dog for a shoe. And even if this was like one of those epic Yeezy hype shoes that is like worth 50 grand, I still wouldn't trade that for a life, bro. That is a, a dog right there. It needs to be respected and loved. Not traded for a smelly shoe, dude. In 2017, a party I threw got busted. So I put on pajamas, sprayed Axe in my mouth to cover up alcohol, and hopped in bed. When the cops knocked on my door, I pretended like I'd been trying to sleep and the party was thrown without my consent. Two out of three roommates got a citation. Guess who didn't? <laughs> Oof. You've been hit by... You've been struck by a smooth criminal. Adele has to give her ex-husband 140 million to settle the divorce. All of a sudden, these pictures make so much sense. A hundred and forty million pounds. <laughs> Just because somebody splits up with you. Wow. I can see why Adele's out here like this, bro. <laughs> this is her realizing the fact that her man's finna drop all this cash on OnlyFans. And maybe, I don't know, a little bit of Robux on the side. 
I looked so good at school today, and not one single man bumped into me. Made me drop all my books, helped me pick them up, I accidentally reached for the same book I was grabbing, touched my hand, laughed and looked in my eyes, instantly fell in love with me, asked for my hand in my- I mean, yeah, it kind of sucks all the cool stuff that happens in these high school movies. Then when you actually go there in real life, nope, never happens. Like, where was Troy Bolton in my school experience, bro? Nowhere. Instead, it was just a badger getting stuck in the bin every week. I miss outside. As if my brothers went to Thailand and got a tattoo of himself on his back. Wait, y you gotta be kidding me, right? Did you just- himself? As in like an image? No. Work in progress. Boy's wild, man. <laughs> oh no. You know, I've seen a lot of weird tattoos in my time, but I've never known anybody to get themselves tattooed in such a large area of their body. I almost have to respect it, bro. And I absolutely love how the tattoo artist just like, Yo! I just did this, bro! <laughs> That's some good work there, man. When I was a kid, my sister told me that the paper strips that's in the chocolate kisses were edible, and I ate them with the chocolate for like a year. They are! Wait, for real? <laughs> Why would you believe in this again? <laughs> Baited twice, bro. My girl brought me home drunk last night, and my mum forgot she dyed her hair. Sister's mum texts him saying, who is that white girl that just went down them steps? Get her out of here now before I lose it on you. I know you see me calling you. You need to go back wherever you came from. I'm tired of you disrespecting this house, and disrespecting us, and you disrespecting <clears throat> the Senate no ho house. And if you want to mess around, leave Bruh. alone. And I will be telling her about the girl now. I'm asking you one more time to get her out of here. Oh my goodness. I will be telling her you just mistaked her for a white girl. I'm crying right now. Oh, I felt so stupid when I seen her car. I forgot she dyed her hair. Sorry. <laughs> the way his mum's just like, this ain't no ho house. Like, mom, it's my GF, chill. That unspoken group dynamic when all your friends are in an Uber on your way to the club and the people in the back seat are lit, dancing and scream talking and the person in the front seat is the group's PR person and talks to the driver and just keeps saying, I'm sorry for that. Please excuse them in the back. Me after guessing the password of my own email. In the woods. Yeah. Incorrect password. Incorrect password. Change password? New password can't be the same as current password. Login successful. <laughs> Hacker man. <laughs> I can relate with this one, bro. Like you'll be sitting there for 25 minutes trying to guess the password for your PP Hub Premium account. And then the next thing you know, when you did a forgot password and you try and enter in a new one, it's like, Oh, sorry, dude, you can't use your current password as your new password. And it's like, hold on a second, I I've literally been trying to use that exact password for the last 25 minutes. I, I don't know, I don't get it. It shouldn't be possible, but I swear that sometimes happens. Generation Z will throw the tear gas back at the National Guard, but be nervous to ask a girl to prom. This is the best thing I've ever done. So this girl posts onto her story saying, Made an OnlyFans lol. Link below. <laughs> and like all these dudes who got baited into it. Oh. <laughs> Next up, we have a really funny story time that I came across and I think you're all going to enjoy this. As a public service in these stressful times, I like to offer, as a palate cleanser, the most embarrassing moment of my life. Tennis years ago, my ex-boyfriend and I visited a spa in Germany. It's swimsuits in the pool, but you have to be naked in the sauna. By the way, I speak no German. Boyfriend and I agreed to meet in the cafe. I get undressed, grab a little towel, and go off to the sauna. There are two unmarked doors at the end of the corridor. I take a guess and go through the one on the left. It's not the door to the sauna, it's the fire escape. The door locks behind me. I'm trapped inside the fire escape, in the nip. It's two stories, dark, grim, noisy because of huge fans. I bang on the fire escape door until I actually hurt myself. Nothing. Yell for help. Nothing. Fully crying, I run downstairs, trying to work out which part of me I should cover with the little towel. My face? A single buttock? Bang on the second floor doors for 10 minutes. Yell some more. Nothing. On the ground floor, there's an unlocked door. Jackpot. 
but no. It's a terrifying machine room with massive fans and pumps and electrocution symbols and everything. Friends, there's nothing quite like running naked and crying around an industrial machine room. I spot a service lift. Out of sheer fear, I run into the lift, covering each boob in turn, mashing the buttons. I go up and down in the lift a few times. There's a security camera in the lift. Torn between, I don't want anyone to see this, and I really, really want someone to see this and rescue me. I moved a little towel between strategic areas while sobbing and waving at the camera. After a few rides up and down, there's a German loudspeaker announcement, and I just know it's about me. Like, the naked girl in the fire escape lift, please stop mashing the buttons, or whatever. But I can't understand it, so just cry louder and gesture at the camera. Eventually, the lift doors open. A spa employee stands there. He is the most dressed man to ever be wearing clothes. He has brought no towel for me. He says something in German. I cry. He sighs, waves for me to follow him. I go after him, still switching around this washcloth. Apparently, the only way out of the fire escape is to fully leave the building, so I'm cowering on the edge of the pavement, hysterical, and he points around the corner. The only way back in is along the street, through reception, where people are queuing out the building. I now have an out-of-body experience, a shame blackout. I have reached my max. I go fully through embarrassment and out the other side. Time slows down. I can hear the music of the spheres. I stop crying, drop the washcloth, shoulders back, head high, follow him along the street, past people parking their cars, standing in line with their families. People say things, points, I cannot hear them. I am transcendent with shame, untouchable. Reception is busy, so busy he has to yell at people to make way so I can get through the crowd. The guy explains, I'm guessing, the situation to the receptionist. This takes actual minutes. An old lady gives me her pool float. It's shaped like a lobster. The claw rests on my boobs. The receptionist asks me for ID. I am wearing only a lobster. Where? Friends. Where would I be keeping my freaking ID? Receptionist sighs and lets me through the turnstile. Ten minutes later, when I run sobbing into a towel and find my boyfriend in the cafe, he has the audacity to be grumpy because he's been waiting for an hour. Finito. Oh my goodness me, I can't believe what I've just read there, bro. <laughs> I think the bit that makes this all that much worse is the fact that her boyfriend's just like, Babe, where have you been for the last hour? <laughs> like, he must have got absolutely destroyed for saying that. Same energy. It's hard to decide which one of these two is more scary, but I think I'm going to go for the cat. Anyways, that's it for this episode of House Twitter Twitter 3. I really hope you did enjoy, and um, yeah, click on the screen if you want to check out another one. And of course, please do subscribe because we're trying to get that milli. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Have an absolutely amazing day. Much love. Peace.